Hello guys, my name is Mayank and I'm working as a Spark developer in one of the IT reputed firm. I am here with my first YouTube series which is on Apache Spark interview questions. The reason behind why I am creating this series is because I felt there is no focused content available in market from the interview perspective. That's why I am trying to compile list of all the interview related questions or topics which can be asked to you from the interviewer. So whether you are giving a uh, small startup, whether you are giving an interview in a small startup or big events, you are at the beginner level or advanced career level, I will try to cover all the topics in this series. So without wasting any more time, let's hit our first video, which is on repartition versus college. So uh, this becomes a very important question uh, uh, in repartition versus college because it will test your in-depth knowledge of or spark internals knowledge uh, of the um, framework, right? So you will get all the memory memory related issues and all those things you need to resolve it. So this this uh, this question will test all all that knowledge. So this will be common across almost all the interviews. So uh, uh, let's uh, deep dive into that. So there are some differences. So first difference is like in with repartition, you can increase or decrease the number of partitions both, right? But with college, you can only decrease the number of partitions. You cannot increase the number of partitions. <coughs> So that's a first difference. So other difference is like in repartition, um, there's a full shuffle happens. The full sh shuffling of data happens, but in college it will try to avoid the full shuffle or it, it will try to avoid the uh, movement of data as much as possible. So I'll give you an example. So what happened is like in repartition, um, we have we have let's say we have four partitions and we are creating a uh, we have a data frame right and we have four partitions right and uh, we're just trying to reduce the number of partitions to two so what what it will do it will create two more partitions maybe e and f right and uh, all the four partitions will put data in e and f so a will put some data in e and some in f so similarly b c d they'll put some data in e and some in f but that is not the case in college so similarly in the same example we have four partition and we're trying to reduce it to two with the help of college so what it will do it will not create the new two partitions but it will create all the data from other partitions will put the data into um, uh, one of the two uh, two of two of the partitions so in this scenario c and d they'll put the data in two partition no new partition will be created so because of this there is less uh, shuffling of data happens in this case right so um, that is a one of the difference major difference so due to this like because the less movement of data happens it becomes a less costly operation and in repartition because because more shuffling is happening, more movement of data happens, it becomes an costly operations. So as of now, you will see like um, you you see that okay, it is moving less data, less it is moving less costly operation, and uh, less costly means like it is uh, spending less amount of time in that. So it maybe it is better, college is better, but that is not the case. I'll, I'm just giving you one more um, scenario where uh, college will create a problem. So what happens is with college data can it will distribute the data unevenly so what happens let's say in the same example we have four partition and we are moving data into two partitions right and um, uh, so it may be the case like there is uh, more data will go into a and b will have the less amount of data maybe some let's say we have uh, 100 mb of data it will go here over here but in b we have only uh, maybe 10 mb of data so what happens like if you perform any operation on after doing this collage so that will generate a problem of data skewness so that uh, that is something data skewness is something like when you get uh, data unevenly distributed so uh, some executors will spend more amount of time because they have more data and uh, all rest of the uh, executors will spend less amount of time because obviously they have less, uh, less amount of data so due to this uh, your job performance uh, may shoot up to a large amount amount of time right so th this on data skewness i'll create a separate video where i'll try to answer all the uh, all the topics related to data skewness all the solutions as well how we can resolve that so but um, college can create data skewness in your data uh, skewness in your data right but re in with repartition this is not the case it will evenly distribute the data across all the partitions right uh, so data skewness will not uh, happen so 
um, these are the major differences in repartition versus collage right and uh, uh, it um, do, according to your scenario or use case you can select whether you want to use repartition or collage one of the example i can give like you if you are uh, performing uh, if if you are increasing if you want to increase the number of partition then you have to uh, anyways use to uh, you have to use repartition only because with collage you cannot use but if you want to decrease it then it is not necessary that you can use only collage it may be the case like you want you are decreasing the number of partition and then you want to perform some other operation let's say group by or joints or something like that so if you use collage and it if it creates a skewness in your data it can it can uh, be a bottleneck for your uh, job it can increase the job time to uh, like to uh, to huge time so um, you, you cannot use that but if you're uh, not using uh, any of the operations uh, after this uh, repartition or collage you're just writing it somewhere you're just like showing it somewhere or displaying it or saving it somewhere then you may be you can use collage because uh, you, you just want to write it somewhere or you just want to show it somewhere uh, if you're writing also then it may be the problem that uh, that partition will take more time to write because it has more data and other uh, other data has like other partition have less data so it it will write faster so uh, in write also you may have to think but for other scenarios where you are just uh, showing it or somewhere else like that so maybe you can use collage or maybe you sometimes you want to write into just one file so you can do df.collage1 so it will pull, put all the data in just one uh, partition so uh, then after that you can write so in that scenario maybe you can use collage so one of the other question have uh, asked from me is like uh, if you uh, you'll write like df you have four partition and let's say you write df dot collage uh, eight so you cannot increase the number of partition but you have written it so whether your command will give an error or it will increase the number of partition so the answer is uh, whether none of the uh, the two options because it will not create it will not give an error nor it will uh, increase the number of partition so nothing will happen so your job will be similarly like this only um, like you, you have we will have only four partitions N nothing will happen not even you will get the error so that is the answer of that question so you can try on that spark shell obviously so uh, this is it from this video uh, so i'll try i'll put my linkedin uh, uh, link for in, in the description box you can uh, anyways uh, ask me directly any of the any of your queries or doubt or you want me to answer some particular uh, question or topic right i can create a video on that so uh, uh, this is it from this video uh, see you in the next video bye bye